Every Manchester United fan would have told you before the summer started that we needed to sign a midfield reinforcement this summer, and that's before Ander Herrera and Maro Anfellaini left. But with 24 hours to go, we haven't signed one. Sounds like the Christian Eriksen deal is off. What's going on with Bruno Fernandes? What about Sean Longstaff or the other 30 midfielders we've been linked with? I'm going to run through everything to do with Man United's new midfield signing this summer that we needed and that we haven't got so far. Now, before we get into it, this video is sponsored by Unibet, who are supporting United People's TV. Make sure you go over there, follow the link in the description to their blog. There's going to be plenty over there over the next 24 hours with transfer deadline day looming. But let's discuss United's pursuit of a new midfielder this summer and why fans are frustrated about it. Now, Christian Eriksen is the name on everybody's lips after reports emerged this week that United were making a late move for the Spurs midfielder who only had one year left on his deal. Now those reports are saying that we're not pursuing him at all. James Ducker from The Telegraph leading with the story here saying that United have called their interest in Eriksen because they believe that he wants to play in Spain and not for United. And the suggestion is that Solskjaer is happy with the squad he has got in terms of his midfield options. Now that really has caused a bit of uproar among United fans, not only because Christian Eriksen was on, now it's off, it's another one of those transfers, but the idea that Solskjaer is happy with his midfield options. We didn't have a great midfield last year. You know, we had Pogba, Matic, McTominay, Matter if you want to count him, Fellaini, Herrera. Now Fellaini and Herrera have left and we haven't signed the midfielder. If anything, our squad options in midfield have gone backwards. So the idea that Solskjaer is happy with his squad sounds, unfortunately, like Solskjaer is a glazer puppet in saying that because he can't be happy with his squad. He needed reinforcements in midfield. And Bruno Fernandes was, as far as United fans were concerned, the midfielder we were going to sign. But United have constantly briefed to the British media that we've never been in for him. And that it's been his agent with the Portuguese press and that's been pushing that transfer. And with only one day to go, the transfer could technically still happen. But if it hasn't happened by now, is it really likely to happen in the next 24 hours? Probably not. And by the sounds of it, Ericsson won't be happening either. So where is our new midfield signing coming from? It could have come from Yuri Tillemans or Tangay and Dombele, who both moved to Premier League clubs, but United didn't really move for either of them. Instead, we sat back and watched them join rivals. Leicester technically got as good a squad, I'd say, as United do now. And Spurs certainly have a fantastic squad. But United didn't go for either of them. And that brings me to my own personal frustration in terms of midfield signings this summer. And I've said it. I thought... United signing a defensive midfielder was the single most important bit of business that we needed to do this summer. We need a proper ball winner in that midfield to not only protect the defence, but start the attacks. Nemanja Matic is not that guy anymore. Yet, we haven't been going after the likes of Neves or Ndidi, or we could have gotten Dombele, even Tillemans. But instead, we haven't really gone after anybody. The only midfielders we've really been linked with are the likes of Sean Longstaff, He's not going to change on midfield straight away. And I'd argue McTominay is probably a better prospect than him. Fernandez, he's an attacking midfielder. Eriksen, he's an attacking midfielder. Sure, we need reinforcement in the attacking midfield options. But defensively in midfield? Awful. We really, really are. And it leaves Solskjaer and United squad in a position where we're now relying heavily on the improvements of players that were in the squad last year to improve our midfield going forward if we don't sign anybody in the next 24 hours. And there are two key players there. And one, I really, in fact, both, I think, will be massively better than last season. But one in particular, and that's Scott McTominay, I really hope can have a properly breakthrough season. Now, he broke into the first team last year. But if he can show the sort of continued progression that he's shown in pre-season, where he looks a lot more mature, sort of, being far more involved in the game, more confident in his own ability to play football and play it well. McTominay, I think, can be that ball winner for us. And I think that's, if we're, it looks like that's what Solskjaer is relying on in terms of a midfield reinforcement in that area. And the same can be said for Fred. Now, I think Fred hopefully will have a sort of Lindelof type second season where he's massively improved because Solskjaer's style will suit him more. But Fred's not had the best of pre-seasons. And it still remains to be seen whether he's going to be a good signing or not. 
But as it stands, if United midfield is going to be better than it was last year, we're relying on the improvements of players like Matomane and Fred, and to a small extent, Pogba as well, for our midfield to be substantially better than it was last year. Because on paper, our options are woeful in comparison to Chelsea, Liverpool, City, even Arsenal, Leicester, Spurs, Wolves. So many teams have a better midfield than United that it seems like a fucking massive oversight for United not to have gone all out to strengthen that this summer. And maybe that's because we never had any intention of signing players in those positions and that Solskjaer was going to have to contend with the options he had. But maybe it's just a massive reality check for United that we aren't the proposition that we once were before. And there's one thing I do agree that United have got right this summer, and it's that we're putting an end to the mercenary money train. We could have gone out and got Dybala, paid him what he wanted, paid his agent what he wanted. But that's been a problem at United for years and years and years. We've been the club that bought players in because we could pay them the most, not because they wanted to play for United. Now, we made a big switch in that this summer, but maybe that's forced a reality check onto the club that, oh shit, not everybody wants to play for United anymore. We were the club to join in the Premier League previously, but there are so many clubs now that are a better proposition overall, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch and how the club is run as a football club. United are behind so many clubs. And maybe that's why we haven't been able to get the midfield reinforcements we wanted to. Now we've got the two defensive reinforcements that we wanted. Harry Maguire, number one centre-back target. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, number one right-back target. And we've done very well there. But overall, this summer surely has to be considered a failure if we don't strengthen that midfield. And I hope I'm wrong in saying that. I hope this season, McTominay and Fred surprise us all and our midfield is better than we all think it is. But going into next season with the options we have on paper, we're heading in with a weaker midfield than we had last season, and it was already weak at that point. Solskjaer might say that he's happy with his squad, but I refuse to believe that, unless he's really seeing something behind the scenes with the likes of McTominay and Fred and Pereira as well, and that he's so confident that they're gonna improve that he doesn't want to go after a midfielder. I don't know. There's different ways of looking at it. But for me, it shows that Solskjaer, I don't think, was 100% fully backed in this summer transfer window. It's supposed to be the beginning of the rebuild. And that happened to a point with our defence. We've certainly rebuilt that. And you can't build Rome in a day. So yes, it's going to happen over a few windows. But to not sign a new midfielder this summer would be a catastrophic mistake from United, I think going into next year, unless players massively improve. And that's taking a substantial risk when rivals around us are signing key players. But let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Do United need a new midfielder? Did United need a new central midfielder this summer? What was more important, a defensive midfielder or an attacking midfielder? Or maybe, do you think that the likes of McTominay and Fred and Pereira can improve enough together that our midfield really will be so much stronger this year than it was last year, and that Solskjaer has a reason to believe he can be happy with the squad he's got. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But I'm worried going into next season if we don't sign a central midfielder in the next 24 hours, and the likeliness of doing that with Ed Woodward is small, to say the least.